Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled Desires, and it is taken from the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. The Apostle John writes, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride in possessions, is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. With the words, the world, the Apostle John is not writing about the world that God created. No, for God's creation is good. God's children can find happiness within it. The world here means that which has fallen away. What has turned away from God, our rebellious world. This fallen world is everywhere around the good world that God had created. John describes here what is in the world and is therefore evil. First, he mentions the our carnal desires, literally the lusts of the flesh. The flesh is sinful, self-important, and selfish. Everything that man desires and wishes belongs to the kingdom of the world. It might be success or money, pleasure, or fame. For there's always something that we want. Then John talks about the desire of our eye. Literally, the lust of the eye. Now that's a vivid description. You can almost see the eye dilating when it focuses on something that it has to have. Inside of us, there's the desire to have, an urge to possess, to be able to call it our own that far surpasses what we really need or what is useful. The desire is followed by its shadow, envy. It's a part of our sinful nature to envy what others have and to measure our own happiness, not by what we own and can find joy in, but what others have. When we have something that's our own, then the third thing John mentions comes naturally, vanity. We value ourselves by what we own, maybe materialistically by how much we make or how large our fortune is, or in a more refined way, by everything beautiful and expensive that we've collected. That desire and that vanity are not of the Father, but are of the world. If this is the love of your life, if this is what occupies your thoughts and what you long for, if this is what you are afraid of losing, then it's time to pray and ask God to help you change your way of thinking and then turn to God and say, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us pray. Lord, help us to be joyful for all of your wonderful gifts without becoming conceited. Help us to receive them with joy and Give them back without regret when you ask for them. Help us be good stewards, realizing that everything is yours and nothing is ours. Help us to be as happy about the prosperity of others as we are for our own. We thank you with all of our hearts for the good things you've given to us. Bless our hands so they don't clench themselves in any effort to keep these things, but help us open them to use them as blessings and gladly let you take them when you want to give them to someone else. Jesus, in your holy name, we pray. 
Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.